Kyle, given what's been said um, about social media, how do you think youth ministers can kind of help minister to young people who are using social media every day? Mm. I think one key strategy um, would be to work against what's being cultivated in some uh, on some platforms like Instagram, um, and that is this posturing, this mm. presentation, mm. This, or presenting, and this performing. Um, which the the backside to that, or the 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 leaning forward to that is. I am presenting in order to be evaluated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and evaluated not by my God, but um, other creatures like myself who have been created by that God. Mm -hmm. And so I think, um, I think um, just being present to young people in and of itself is um, mm -hmm. a good strategy. But I also, I also think being present and welcoming um, young people without um, the sense of you need to you need to present or you need to perform mm -hmm. um, but you are simply welcome here and pointing them in a direction um, pointing them in a direction in which or emphasizing for them that um, the God that they were created by and for um, is not a God who requires presentation in order to evaluate. That's just not a question yes. anymore. Yes. Um, that's not an issue anymore. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think that um, that strategy and the way that it works out in Wednesday night Bible study or worship time that we're um, emphasizing and... Um, Emphasizing that there isn't a need to present oneself or to be perfect. I mean, mm -hmm. that's something we all struggle with. Um, but there is that on social media to when you're, you know, tweeting to make sure there are no grammatical errors, <laughs> you know, or something like this, um, because your intelligence might be called into question. But that we serve a God and are part of a community in which we are not evaluated and we don't need to seek evaluation. And the affirmation which might come from that evaluation, um, we are not going to find our rest in that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right? Mm. So I think yeah. that, that, that's a key strategy and emphasis for um, youth workers. It strikes me that that um, explains why it becomes so insidious then when youth ministries themselves get caught up yeah. in the same dynamics of performance and presentation. Yeah. I know with, with my own kids when they were teenagers, I, I remember my daughter was sort of in the orbit of this youth ministry where like everybody was beautiful and perfect and you know it was it was the handsome kids who were always up front and mm -hmm. the, and and it, it it's just like you see how it so assimilates to the actually the idolatrous practices yeah. and it and it actually undercuts the words that are being said because in a way they're performing this sense that well God loves beautiful people do you know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. God loves the people who've got it all together, mm -hmm. whereas Scripture reminds us God loves the are nots of the world, right? Yeah, and he, yeah. he's he's doing these miraculous things in jars of clay. And um, I, I think your point that the, this presence to everyone and with everyone and that God is no respecter of persons is just such a huge countercultural practice mm -hmm. in that regard. Mm -hmm.